you guys. Welcome to the Flash After Show. I got myself a new Flash t-shirt. Um, mainly for this, and also to wear on Tuesday nights when the Flash comes on. Um, today, we're talking about Season 1, Episode 5, entitled Plastique. Um, now basically, if you guys have never seen my episodes before, I run down the positives, the stuff I liked about the episode, the negative stuff I didn't like about the episode. Um, but basically, this episode was about... Uh, there's this metahuman who can turn anything she touches into a bomb. And, you know, the Flash and the Flash crew have to stop her. And there's a lot of positives on here. I do have a few negatives. But the, I try to find negatives in each episode, though. Because a lot of times, with the Flash and with Arrow, those episodes are so good that it's kind of hard to find negatives. And a lot of the times, the negatives are just little nitpicky stuff. But... Let's get into it, the positives. Um, so in the beginning of the episode, we see Barry, Cisco, and Caitlin in a bar. And, uh, you know, they're having this conversation and Caitlin's being all uh, scientific and technical. And then Caitlin just goes, do I sound like Felicity? I thought that was a cool little moment because uh, at times she does sound a lot like Felicity. She is Barry Allen's Felicity. Um, she, she really is. So, to have her say, do I sound like Felicity, was kind of cool. I kind of geeked out on that. Um, then, uh, we see uh, Plastique. I don't remember her actual name. But we see Plastique walking in this building. Uh, she touches something. It turns into a bomb. The floor of the building blows up. Barry rushes, and he sees that there's a window washer still up there. And, but how's he going to get on top of the building in time? Um, well, it wasn't really on top. It wasn't like on the roof or anything like that. But uh, Barry trying to advance his power, develop his power, find out what he can do and what he can't do. So he runs up the building and saves the window washer. So I'm like, okay, he can now run up buildings if he needs to. And I like to see Barry, you know, uh, testing himself really kind of finding out what he can and can't do. Um, I'm just a, a sucker for that. Uh, Barry using his speed for police work. Now, this is something that we've seen before in other episodes, just small little moments of him doing his police work, using his speed. But in this episode, he does it again, and I just I wanted to mention that because that is something that I do like about the show, how he uses his speed to do police work. Uh... And then the moment that Barry realizes anything Plastique touches becomes a bomb. And, you know, the fact that, you know, Barry, he's in the Flash outfit. And he touched Plastique. And she's like, you need to go. You need to go now. And so he realizes he's about to blow up. So he takes his costume off and runs back to Star Labs. And uh, I just, I love his reaction. Um, Grant Gustin, I don't talk about him enough as an actor, but as Barry Allen, much like Stephen Amell with Oliver Queen, I never liked The Flash, never cared for him, until I seen him pop up in season two of Arrow, I'm like, he's a likable guy, I, I like him. Uh, so I'm gonna check The Flash out now, because I liked him in these two episodes of Arrow he was in, and the show is turning out great, and I'm loving it, I'm becoming a Flash fan, just like I'm becoming a Green Arrow fan. Um, so yeah, Grant Gustin, big props to you. Um, Cisco's reaction when he finds out that the suit blew up, he's upset. He's like, you let my suit blow up. You let my suit blow up. And then Kate Caitlin goes, you have more. He's like, yeah, but that was my favorite one. Uh, so Cisco's more worried about it than Barry is. And Barry was in the suit. So I, I love Cisco as a character. Joe makes a line, it's, it's, I don't remember exactly along the lines of what the conversation was, but Joe goes, well, must be Tuesday. I'm like, you kind of copying off of Buffy the Vampire Slayer there in season six of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, Buffy goes, so, Dawn's in trouble, must be Tuesday. Uh, that took six seasons for them to do that in Buffy, and it's only taken five episodes for them to do it on Flash. What, whatever. I, I liked it, though. It's, it's why it's in the, in the positives. Um, then Cisco, when he meets Plastique, he's hitting on her hard the entire episode. 
he's you know trying to hit at her and she's like okay weirdo she's probably thinking nerd I do like the fact that Cisco was trying to hit on Plasti because Cisco does not have a romantic he's not romantically involved with anybody on, on the show uh, I don't really see them uh, I don't see the producers and the, the writers kind of giving him that direction for a while if he, if they are going to do it it's probably going to be with Caitlin but uh, as of right now, I don't see him ever being in a romantic thing uh, going on. At least, not not yet. Uh, I'm sure at some point he will, but it, it was just cool to see Cisco trying to pick up on somebody. Um, Barry and Iris on the roof, they're having a conversation about... Um, <coughs> Iris starts writing her these blogs about the streak. Um, as he's called. And uh, basically the Flash, or the streak, uh, Barry, he's basically telling her not to do that. Um, and I do like that conversation, that moment on the roof. It kind of, it reminds me of season one of Arrow, when Oliver and Laurel were on the roof. And uh, they were having conversations back and forth, and... You know, he was hiding his identity pretty well, as, as much as he could with what he was wearing. So, yeah. Um, and the thing about that is, Barry changes his voice, too. But he doesn't have, like, a, a, a voice change or anything. He moves so fast that his vocal, car, vocal cords start to vibrate, and it changes his voice a little bit, so Iris doesn't know who he is. And that brings me to the next positive. When Joe finds out about Barry's vibrating vocal cords, he's impressed and he's like am amazed and amused at the same time. And that was a cool moment. Joe had about the same reaction to that that I had. So that, that was cool. Uh, Barry, um, there's a moment, Plastique dies. And I do want to mention this one thing. I I don't know why I didn't put this on this list, but Plastique was not really a villain per se. She she's a metahuman who didn't know how to control her power, but she wasn't trying to like she wasn't purposely trying to blow things up, and she wasn't you know trying to go after anybody or anything like that. It was a very different take for a villain, and I really enjoyed it. The fact that you know she 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 was like that, but Plastique ends up dying, and that part's not the positive. But Barry takes her body because she knows that, look, uh, she's going to die. And, you know, she's going to blow shit up when she's dead. So I need to get her to a safe place. He realizes, again, he's finding out what he can and can't do. And he learns that he can run on water. Yes. And he's running through the ocean and he just leaves Pla Plastique's body there. I thought that was cool. Again, I like seeing Barry kind of learning what he can and can't do. And then, so Barry uh, can't get drunk, you know, because his metabolism is too fast and everything. So he can't get drunk. So what does Caitlyn do? She makes him 500 proof. Wow! Uh, I'm like, I don't even know if Barry can even handle that. But he takes a shot of 500 proof, and he's like, whoa, and... Caitlin goes, are you buzzed? He's like, yeah, I'm buzzed. Two seconds later, he's like, no, it's gone. Uh, I'm like, wow, this dude just can't get drunk. That, that's got to suck. Now let's get into the negatives, because I do have some negatives in here. Um, Eiling and the army. Didn't like the characters. Didn't, you know, I really don't care. Uh, I didn't like them. Didn't care what happened to them. Wasn't on his side. I... I didn't even really understand, you know, uh, what his whole purpose was. Like, I know he has this whole mo motivation of how he was trying to do these experiments back in the day, especially with Wells, and I just, I, I got it, I just didn't care for it. Um, and then Wells convincing Plastique to kill Eiling. Um, I'm like, well, that's going a little too far. I don't like the dude either, but I think killing him is going a little too far. Um, Plastique dies. That That's a negative for me. Like I said, I really, really liked her character, and I think it would have been interesting to see if she survived, if she learned how to control her power, and 
what they were going to do with her character. I would have liked to see her become, like, a big part of the show. Um, but no, she, she dies, and I didn't really understand why they killed her off. Um, they could have found a way to control herself. Um, so yeah, guys, that's all my negatives. On uh, season one, episode five of The Flash, entitled Plastique, overall, it was a, it was a pretty good episode. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite uh, Flash episode so far. So far, I still think that that goes to uh, to last week's episode, uh, Going Rogue with Captain Cold. That's probably my favorite episode so far. Um, but we got the Arrow Flash crossover coming up, the mid season finale coming up. That it, that, oh, that one might be topped. So, guys, what did you guys think of this episode? Let me know down in the comments below. That's all I can say for today. I will see you guys in the next video.